And if yeah, most and people saw to that. how horrible yeah. pipes and holding tanks looked, they would never open a tap and drink that water. It, it, it's, it's frightening, to be honest, when you think about it. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, there are policies in place by the VA. There are administrative requirements. There are ongoing testing. And it is it is as minimal as they can do. So, um, well, let, let's talk about that because, obviously, the, 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 I, I still believe they're burying their head in the sand. And I, I think we, we need to, you know, hopefully, HC3, we can spearhead for change. But... How often would you say then, at a minimal level, should a VA organization, hospital, clinic, whatever, and even broadly over all communities, how often should we be testing that water? Uh, well, it's, you know, it's all types of water systems, but typically beginning with quarterly testing is an important right. part. Um, and, and a robust test, not one or two tests or, you know, test just the hot water or just the cooling towers, there's often a hyper-focus on, we're going to test every cooling tower. Well, that's a good start, but I can point to 40 other water sources that are just as, as at, at risk. <laughs>